Hello guys, in this video I'd just like to give you a basic pro tip. The pro tip is that it's easier to create something than it is to recreate something. So you may be wondering, well, no duh, thanks Aramis for your completely obvious observation. But that's the difference guys. There is a difference between people who just say duh, but they don't truly understand something, versus people who really think and contemplate about something and come to a greater realization about something. So I use something a lot in those past sentences. What I'm saying, guys, is that think about what I just said and how you can apply that to your career. Because if what you do is mostly copy things, then you're really in a much more difficult place. So what you want to do is set yourself up in such a position that you're creating things as opposed to copying things because it's much easier to create than recreate. It's one reason I don't like to do requests a lot is because I don't like to recreate other existing works. I like to make something fresh from scratch. So let me give you a very basic example of this principle. So if I just create this, uh, this basic thing right here and just do that and then symmetry, I haven't modeled at full efficiency in a while, so I may be a little bit slow here. This error must at the slowest. All right, so you know, let's say I just I just boop that, and I just bop that, and I just uh, and I just boop that, and I just scoop that, and I just go bloop. All right, and then I just go into uh, you know copy that, and then apply add a poly on top, and then just do this right, and then I just you know select that. And then I just do that, and I just do this, and then just kind of, oops. Let's see, so let me just uh, regularize that again. All right, let me just do that. You know, just uh, just get a basic little thing here. Let me paste those modifiers back. All right. I don't even know what this is supposed to be, but it's just uh, we're just we're just doing some random. Uh, we're just doing my favorite random modeling here. Alright guys, so here's just a quick little random thing I made. What is this? I don't know. It vaguely looks like a face. Uh, let's just call this my daily warm-up. So as you can see guys, for me this was pretty pretty effortless. I didn't really have to even try, but I was able to get this kind of result. Obviously if I, uh, if I spent more time thinking about design as opposed to just kind of quickly uh, rush things, it, it would look much better. But you can see guys, here's the problem. Now, if you try to recreate this, imagine how difficult it would be. You would have to just kind of, kind of measure everything out here and just kind of have all these multiple angles. And you know what, guys? No matter how many references you had, and no matter how accurately you measure things out, you would still never get this exact same thing. You, I mean, you just can't. It's just, there's just too many curves and things happening here, you know? But if you take this principle into account and kind of set up your life in such a way that you create as opposed to recreate, then you can properly use this principle just to make your modeling job easier. So put yourself in situations where you are making new things of your own design as opposed to trying to copy what other people have done before and you will have yourself a much easier time. So, so guys, just try to put yourself in situations where you're creating original new things as opposed to copying things and I think you will have a much more fun time as opposed to try to recreate something and measure things out 
Now you can just have fun creating your own intro design. Thank you for watching and take care. Thank you.